Hello everybody, I'm Jim from beautiful Falkir County, Virginia. Welcome to another fantastic episode of Outdoors with the Morgans. And please, everyone, stay safe in these crazy times. Do what I'm doing, just work around the property. Thank you all, enjoy this episode. <music> Beautiful day here in western Pennsylvania. The sun is shining, well at least it's trying to shine. The wind's blowing which has helped dry things up because we've had a power rain here the last couple days. I started out today cleaning in the garage and it kind of turned into a little project that I've been wanting to build. Kind of had help store and uh, organize some tractor attachments. It should be pretty cheap, pretty easy to build and shouldn't take long at all and it will actually help me out quite a bit. I'll show you here what I'm doing. The wood that I'm using is this uh, red pine. Came off the property. I sawed it on the uh, wood miser sawmill. These are my two by fours, which actually I cut my two by fours at an inch and a half thick by four inches instead of three and a half inches. So they're pretty stout. I needed uh, two that are 18 and a half inches and five that are 38 inches. We'll start assembling this and you'll start to get an idea of what I'm building here. I'm going to. Uh, pre-drill some holes here before I start putting this together. This wood is really nice. It is. Now what I'm using this for, it's going to have to hold a lot of weight, but I think it should be fine. I got all my uh, holes pre-drilled.
right, I gotta put a uh, top on it now. I'll square this end up. Uh, this is a little big for the, a uh, little wide for the miter saw, so I use the circular saw. That never happens. This is just a random uh, cutoff from the siding boards for the uh, wood shed. It's perfect. Perfect width. heavier than what I thought it would be. That's all right. Just have to uh, add the most important feature. Now, you may be asking yourself what I need something like that for. I'll show you here in just a bit.
So uh, what do you think of that? Nice. nice. Pretty nice, huh? Melissa has some uh, big news to share. It took a pandemic and two weeks, but I shared my first video of the cheeseburger soup on my channel. Melissa Morgan, I'm thinking about a name for that, maybe more Morgans. Yeah, if you can like think of a good name for her channel Put and it in the uh, comments, go check it out right now. It's Melissa Morgan, and the video is called Cheeseburger Soup Pittsburgh Grandma Cheeseburger Soup. Yeah, and you can subscribe to Melissa's channel. And if you can think of a good catchy name, yeah, like something it. off of Outdoors with the Morgans, but not too long, you know, whatever you think, more Morgans, more Morgans, something along those lines. But we're going to keep doing the same thing. But Melissa may do like a video a week or something yeah. more like uh, My fitness stuff. or when yeah. I'm at work, the stuff she's doing. Dogs. Dogs. Well, grandkid. Yeah. Hunter's Day program. Yeah, which is here I'm now. I'm going to bring you along. Yeah, but uh, I will put a link to Melissa's video up above and I'll put it at the end of this video. So check yeah. it out. A lot of people have been asking about that cheeseburger soup. It's That's right. delicious. It is. And she did a good job. She edited it all on her phone. Yeah. And, uh, that's it's not easy. I don't know how Mike Morgan does this. Yeah, it, it took a <laughs> while to figure all that easy. out. But you know what? I've been making use of my last two weeks of this stay at home. Yeah. And that's what I got done. So check it out. So a couple weeks ago, I took the uh, skidding winch into the garage, took it off the tractor, just kind of dropped it in front of the workbench there. And I quickly realized that it's nearly impossible to move unless it's hooked up to the tractor. So what I just built there should be my solution to that, where I can just roll it around in the garage, you know, tuck it back into the corner, and then when I need it again, I can just roll it out to the door, hook it up, and take off. It should work out fantastic. Here comes my uh, lovely assistant. This reminds me of the scooters in gym class. Yeah, remember those scooters in oh gym class? Goodness. How many people lost a finger, or almost? Oh yeah. I remember this. I forgot uh, all about them until you said that. They make scooters now when you sit on that there's a handle right here so you're not putting your fingers down here rolling over them. I remember that. The funniest things you remember. So in a minute here I'm going to try it out. Hopefully I measured correctly. That would kind of stink if I didn't but I think it'll fit right on there. And then uh, also don't forget check out Melissa's uh, cheeseburger soup. Yeah. video on her own channel and let us know what you think would be a good name for her channel yeah we were thinking more morgans like we said but uh i think they'll come up with something pretty catchy we don't want it too long mighty mighty melissa yeah i don't know but i just had an idea you should make one of these for your tripod for your cameras oh yeah and just roll them around yeah yeah i mean i've seen the behind the scenes on hollywood and they have stuff like that I don't think they're made out of rough no, cut lumber, but, but that's, still. That's okay. This is outdoors. Yeah. Behind the scenes. Yeah. Well, you put some bigger wheels on that thing, you'd take off right down the road on that. Oh, yeah. All right, I'm going to try it out. Works good. All right, we just had some dinner and uh, came back out here. I'm gonna have to put this back in the garage. One thing, uh, that little lip going into the garage, I'm gonna have to use the uh, forks on the RK24 to move it in. But uh, when I'm hooking it up, you know, to the tractor, I'll just leave it in the garage, back up to the edge of the door. It'll roll right in there. But yeah, I think it's uh, gonna work fantastic. And I also looked that up, it weighs 470 pounds. The platform that I made is probably 70 or 80. And the forks are probably 150 on the RK24. So it's gonna be kinda close to maxed out to lift that, but it shouldn't have any trouble. Could but, you winch it in? Yeah, could, I could just hook it up and winch it right in. But uh, what do you have to add, Melissa, anything? Mr. Wallenstein, if you want these, we will mass produce them for you. No, we won't mass produce them. <laughs> It'll be like one a day. One a day. Yeah. I think you did a good job. Yeah. Looks good. Fits perfectly. But don't forget, tell them what you want them to do. Yeah. So go to Melissa Morgan on YouTube. 
that's my channel and I posted my cheeseburger soup video. It's it's up there. I it's on there. <laughs> I have uh, <laughs> I had a 508 subscribers and within an hour I lost three. So <laughs> but you gained a bunch. But then I gained a bunch, yeah. And even Mike Morgan from Outdoors with the Morgan subscribed. Yeah. So check so, it out. So check it out. So click like, subscribe, hit the bell icon, you'll get notifications when we publish a video. Comment down below, we'd love to hear from you. And we'll see you on the next one. This is TJ and Callie from Elkton, Maryland. You just got done watching another great episode of Outdoors with the Morgans, and we just got done cutting up this nice maple tree for firewood. If you liked the video, make sure to hit like, subscribe, hit the little bell icon to get notifications, and leave a comment below. Thanks, and have a day. Bye.